Hello guys and welcome to another Blender tutorial. So somebody asked me, how do you add markers for cameras in Blender? So for example, if I had a scene where I had an animation and I don't want to just be seeing it from one camera the whole time, somewhere in my timeline, I want to switch over to another camera. So I'm going to show you how to very simply do that. So I can quickly give you an example here. So we have this camera here and then we add, add a marker in here and then it switches cameras and then we switch it back to another third camera. I'm going to show you real simple how to do this on a timeline here, very beginner friendly. So just open up a example scene in Blender and we'll, uh, I'll show you how. Okay, so if a new scene open up in Blender, I'm going to quickly set up a little scene and demonstrate this for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my camera here, right? And in Blender, if we take the camera and we hit Shift D, we can make another camera and place it wherever we want. So I'm going to place this one here, hit R to rotate it. And let's grab this camera here and let's go to our um, object properties here. Go here, just call this camera one. And let's just grab this camera here, call it camera two, just so we are organized. And what we're gonna do, so for example, if we were to hit zero right now on our keyboard, it's gonna go into the first camera, right? Even though we have this one active here, it's still gonna go into our first camera. So what you do, whatever camera you wanna go into, you have to actually select that camera and then you have to go control or command zero, and that'll take you into this camera. So you can see I'm in this camera now, and if I grab this one, I go control zero. Now I'm in this camera view. So I'm gonna very quickly show you how we can um, add frames or camera frames here. So um, it'll like be at a certain point, it'll tell us which camera to use on the keyframes here. So let's start by selecting camera one. And let's just say we're gonna to come to frame one here. And if this camera selected the camera one, so let's just hit control zero, just go into it. And we're on frame one. So on frame one, we want this to be the camera. So let's come over here and let's hit M. So if you hover over here on your timeline and you hit M with the camera selected, it's gonna hit add in a little F here, right? And with this camera that is now active, what we can do is we can, on this frame here, or, or, as long as we're on that little triangle there, like this little frame that's added in, we can go to marker and we can get go bind camera to marker. Now the shortcut for that is also control B. So you can just hit control B. Now we have this marker here. So let's go to frame 70. And on frame 70, let's just do the same thing. Let's just hit down here, hit M to add in a marker and then go control or command B with this camera active just to add in that marker. So between this frame and this frame here to frame 70, it'll be in this camera. But let's come over here maybe to, maybe let's come to frame 90. And let's say on frame 90, so let's select the other camera and we're gonna go control zero or command zero. And then on frame 90, we're gonna go and down here, we're gonna hit M to add in a marker, then control B or command B. And now let's play this. So we're gonna see here, we have this, and then it's gonna switch over at this point here. And you can do this as many times as you want back and forth. Now, I should probably not have made this one at the front here. It's kind of redundant. Um, even if I just made the one here at 70, it would just be in the first camera here up until frame 70, and then it'll keep going till it switches over here at frame 90. So if for example, I come here to frame 120, I can easily grab another camera, shift D to duplicate it, and I can grab this camera here and I can go control zero on frame 120, for example, and do the same thing. Hit M down here and then control B to add that camera. So now not only do we have that one and the other one, we have this new one here and you can very easily um, do this. And you can also animate cameras. So, you know, if I added a keyframe here for location with this one and kind of moved it around, you know, it's, it'll still work even with the animated camera here. So you can see here and there it switches camera. So that's how you go between cameras in Blender. Very, very simple stuff. And like I said, you can actually click on these guys here and easily slide them if you want to position your cameras. So super easy stuff. I hope you guys have enjoyed this little informational tutorial. I know it's not like a final scene or anything, but if you did, um, find this useful, please like and subscribe and check out some of my other content. I do have content out there that shows you how to make like a final animation or something and a whole character tutorial. So check it out and the rest of my channel. See you guys next time.